this house was printed and assembled in a factory. 3D construction companies like Mighty Buildings say the tech can make homes faster, cheaper, and more sustainable. So what we've done is with 3D printing, we're able to print exactly what we need. So it's effectively zero waste construction, meaning we're eliminating the three to five pounds per square foot that goes to landfill in a traditional build, which adds up to about two to three tons of carbon per unit. Mighty Buildings focuses on backyard studios and single family homes, but has plans to produce townhouses and multi-story apartment buildings. What we're trying to do is take those really dangerous, difficult parts and hand them to the printer and the robots and really leverage the humans for the parts that make sense for humans to do. Those detail works, the things that robots and computers can't actually do. 3D printing uses machines to create objects by laying down thin layers of material according to digital blueprints. It's been used in various industries, from making face shields to helping reconstruct a man's face in less than 24 hours. The benefits that automation and digitization had brought to so many other industries with regard to speed and affordability um, were completely missing from the construction industry. Construction companies like Icon are now using the tech to build low-cost housing. It's printed houses for the homeless in Austin, as well as poor families in Mexico. For in our method, we print on site, or another way to say is like the factory comes to you um, and prints the house right where it intends to be. Uh, we chose that method um, to eliminate a lot of the shipping costs, and then also to give ourselves a lot of design freedom. Critics say in order to appeal to the masses, 3D printed construction firms will still need to significantly ramp up production. They'll also have to persuade people that the buildings are safe. But for now, construction companies say they're filling a gap. At the end of the day, we're actually hoping to create more work by increasing the productivity by as much as 20 times, and also helping address the fact that we don't have enough skilled labor to build all the housing we need. Experts say 3D printed housing is a step in the right direction. We have a severe housing shortage in the millions of units here in California, and we need all the help, all the solutions that we can get. So to the extent that 3D printing can offer a faster, cheaper way to build even single family housing units or small units, it can, it can address a portion of the problem. We haven't changed the way that we build housing in 30, 40, 50 years. Uh, so we need innovation in the materials we use, the processes, and really from soup to nuts how we build housing.